if you look at our healthcare system today, the primary cost, the biggest cost component of healthcare is hospitalization and institutional services. But today, 75% of hospital beds are taken up by people who have chronic disease, and their disease has gotten out of hand. So what telemedicine can do is spot that we can do something small and reverse the course. What this system allows us to do is to really visit with the, our patients, and it's really based on their schedule, not based on what a clinic might have. So. Mr. Diamond, is it okay if I go ahead and listen to your heart and lung sounds today? It's a audio video, but it's much more than that. You can integrate medical devices, a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff. Please enter your blood sugar and tap continue. Is a person, whether they live 100 miles from a hospital or across the street from the hospital or a clinic, are they able to get the care they need when they need it? If you live rural, you're almost guaranteed you can't if you have something that can deteriorate quickly. But if you live in the urban environment, many times you can't. Your diabetes, your hypertension, your heart disease is deteriorating right under the broader umbrella of the health system because it's never been set up to bring care to you when you need it. You have to come to care. So I'm taking the pulse ox now. Yep. Telemedicine can, can enable, if you go beyond just the audio video and seeing somebody, to identify hours or days ahead of time of a more catastrophic event going on and going back to public policy and uh, dealing with deficits and everything else is we can save a lot of money by not having that person deteriorate to the point of hospitalization.